So today's set is going to be using the Jelly White from Bond Pretty. And this is number 63, it's from SGP. It's an almost sheer, sheer pink that I quite like. Um, and I'm also going to be using lots of bits. So I have snowflakes in this one. I have caviar beads, some pearls. I'll zoom you out actually because I've got a lot. In here there's some little, little golden nuggets I'm thinking of using. I've got all my boxes of pulling out. And this one, I have some more of the little snowflakes. And this one, I have some teeny tiny little gold stars I'm going to be using. Oh. And in this giant box, I have some gems because I'm doing it pink. I'm thinking of using my little pink opals and then some of those super teeny tiny pointy backs. But it's going to be a nice little sparkly set. So. Hmm. We'll get to painting. Yeah, I wanted to do like a pastel -y pastely winter set because at the minute I've just been doing the the odd nails for Christmas designs so I thought it'd be nice to do a full set and I have measured these to my size so I can show you what they look like on afterwards I think I'm going to do every other so we'll have the Three white and two pink. This jelly polish does take more than one coat. I find this one, um, this one streaks from Bomb Pretty. I do like it because it's the perfect kind of jelly white I want. It's just a little liney. Let me go back over that one. And then my pink, I was going to keep it all to Bond Pretty, but I don't have the jelly shade that I want in the Bond Pretty ones. I have slightly too dark or slightly too peach. I just don't have this specific shade of pink, which is what I was going for. I hope you've been enjoying my Christmas videos with the the little single designs. Um, a lovely lady who I'm subscribed to um, called Zelda emailed me the other day asking if I'd like to join her and a couple of other ladies doing um, like a Christmas design countdown. So one a day, you know, for all of December and there'll be different designs. And I said, absolutely, I would be interested. Um, so we'll have like a common theme, like say, I don't know, they want to be Christmas stockings. So then me and the group of ladies will do, each do a Christmas stocking design, post them and we'll have links to the other people. So it's a way to see how we all, how we, how we all interpret it, I suppose. And it'll be a way to see a bunch of really good different designs. So stay tuned for that. I am just waiting to hear back. I know she's sorting it out with some other ladies as well. Right, I'm just adding all the bits I want into my, into my little triangle. And I was thinking I'd add some of these gold rocks. This is like a stone set. That I got in one of my recent Timu orders. You know, like those little rock things you can get. And there's there's gold, there's copper, there's black. There's a slice of green in there. 
But yeah, but I'm stealing some of the gold nuggets. Okay, so this is one cut. I'm just going to do a second cut off camera in the interest of time. So I'll be back with you in a moment. Okay, and we're back with the two cuts. And I have filled my little palette with a bunch of little bits. Now, I'm thinking because the thumbnail is the bigger nail, I will do the chunkier design on that. Yeah, I will do the bigger design on this one because then, then I can see what I'm actually doing. So I'm going to take one of my gold skinny gels and on this thumb it is going to be a Christmas wreath. So you could use a different glitter gel. You just need you just need the background colour. So you want to have <laughs> we're gonna try and draw a circle again. This is going to be your Christmas wreath. Guess who woke up from his nap? I swear he just doesn't like to be discounted from the YouTube channel he wants to join into. And this is his contribution. So I'm just widening that out a little bit. all the gems and decorations are going to sit on this because this is going to be like the base for your wreath and it doesn't matter if it shows through at the end because we've sparkled it so there'll be no no big missing gaps so i'm just going to cure that okay i am just going to top coat this nail and then cure it and then we'll go in with the design Okay, now on my palette next to me, let me turn that so you can see it. I have some base gel. I'm being shoved. No. <laughs> and I'm just going to go over where I have put, stop scratching me, where I have put the gold line just with my base gel. And this is going to act as the glue. Now, if you want to use gem glue, you can use gem glue to do this step as well. But I am just using at the minute what I've got right next to me. And I had started out actually planning to do another set, which is why it's out. And then I thought, oh, actually, I'll do this one. So we're doing this one. Like you do. I've just moved my camera down a bit more. I think you'll be able to see a little better then. So I have my trusty little tray. And you literally just want to... I have a hair on there. There we go. Start filling in your little Christmas wreath. With all your little bits and bats, it doesn't matter what order you put them in or where you put them. Just fill it in in whatever shapes and sizes you want to. doesn't have to follow the line exactly. It can go outside of the line. Now that one needs a little more incentive to stick. So I'm just going to grab my macaque glue. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just put a little blob of that there and see if that is enough to stick it if not the 
you know, like the Bond Pretty No Stick, No Stick, like 3D gels. They will work because you can push it up inside the snowflake. So there we are. But this is a very, a very pinky one. And I'll just stick my stuff where I want it. I'll have some pearls on there as well. I mean, you can use any colour as well. I have just chosen, chosen these colours. But the interpretation is entirely up to you and your choice of what you want to see on there. So just move it around to suit. Oh, we lost one. There we go. And the top looks just a little empty, so. Fill it in with a few more tiny tinies. And we'll give that a cure to put a bow on this. But at the moment, I have bows coming out of my ass. So, I do need to organise these better. I'm not sure whether I want a gold bow or, or an acrylic bow. I've got some nice different kinds. I kind of like that one. I'm not seeing any more in there. Ah, there's a yellow one. So I'm thinking this one's a contender. That one is not a contender, it's too chunky. And then my thought was because a Christmas wreath should have a bow on it. What about an acrylic bow? Actually, I don't hate that one. But the same as with the other ones, I have, I have quite a lot, some are iridescent. Part of me just thinks it should be the cute little pastel one. I think we'll go pastel. Okay, so that is nuking. And the rest, I'm going to add a coat of base coat to the nails and then stick directly into there and I will just top coat around everything. Um, normal base, rubber base, it really doesn't make make a difference which one you use just as long as it's got good sticking power now when you top coat when you're finished you will obviously have to top coat around the gems but you can top coat over the gold parts it keeps them in place and it stops tarnishing and the colour leaching out because if you've you got your hands in chemicals or whatever else or if you're knocking them then you can obviously bang them out of place and there's not worse than really loving your nails and then being a peed off because you've lost a chunk mm -hmm. oops I just wiped my finger in that one I think on this one, too big. I am 
go into make a Christmas tree. that one off. And it's just a case of moving your gems. And we're not focusing. Sorry about that. I don't have my eyes on the camera so I can't tell when the damn thing goes out of focus. Hopefully that wasn't for all of this. But I'm just maneuvering my gems into are we going to focus yes we are into a teeny tiny Christmas tree even with a very dainty but very cute little star on top there we go and since I have them out anyway, we will give it a little stubby chunk of gold for its little tree base and we'll cure that one. I think this one I might leave simple and literally just put a snowflake on it. Because I don't want gems on every nail and I think I'm going to leave Pink one's playing. I am sitting here, and guess who has come to say hello? Say hi, Chippy. He's very grumpy this morning. He's annoyed that I'm sat at my desk when that is not where he wants me to be. So this is what they look like, and I'm just gonna give everything a good going over with the top coat, just to make sure it's all sealed in. And remember, you can go over the gold bits. It helps keep them there. But I hope you've enjoyed this video. I don't think it should be a long one. But then again, I'm not sure how long I've actually been doing the nails for. So on this one, remember to tuck your brush into to all the little nooks and crannies around the diamonds. And it will work to keep them there. And you can pin over the gold star on the top. So we will just butt up to all of these. I ended up going for the pastel one. Now I am going to top coat over the snowflake, but not over the gems that are next to it. And then I am going to get inside as well. I'm using my brush, but you can just get a fine liner brush to do that bit. I just want to make sure it's all, all tucked in for all the diamonds. And we'll go over that little star as well. And I will put them into cure. So they are curing. And I just want to thank you all for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Um, and please give the video a like. It helps my channel grow. And if you want to see more, subscribe. Because we will have more coming. Um, especially for December. Some more Christmas designs. So this is what they look like on. So there is the thumb. And the pink and the white. But thank you all for tuning in and watching. Um, give the designs a go and some of my other Christmas ones as well. And if you are somebody that has Instagram, 
then I am at Kirsty Leslie Nails. It's in the description box. Um, post your designs and tag me in them so I can see how you do. I'd like to see how some of you recreate them or change them or fix the mess ups I make in the first place. Um, and if you've enjoyed, please give the video a like. If you've not subscribed, please do so. I have a lot more Christmas stuff coming. And thank you all very much for watching and staying to the end of what is possibly a longer video than I actually meant it to be. But thanks guys and I'll have more videos for you shortly. Bye.